In the modern era, the need for privacy is paramount. Whether you need a quiet place to record audio, a quiet nook for meditation, or a peaceful area to rest in, soundproofing can help create those spaces for you. Professional soundproofing can get expensive, driving more people to seek alternative, DIY methods of soundproofing their areas. Corrugated cardboard is an excellent material to use in DIY soundproofing. As sound passes through the cardboard, the waves are dampened by each layer they go through. While all cardboard can effectively soundproof, types with the tightest grooves are the best. How can you harness cardboard sound dampening power in your spaces? Why is cardboard so effective? Is creating a soundproofed area yourself difficult? Let's take a minute to answer these questions. How does soundproofing work? Sound as you may know travels in waves. Soundproofing generally reduces the amount of noise that gets into a room, the amount of noise that escapes a room or both. While sound cannot be completely blocked out, at least not using most at-home methods and materials, it can significantly decrease the noise. This is done by absorbing, reflecting, or slowing the sound waves that make it into the area. Sound absorbing materials like foam are generally porous and flexible. Sound reflecting materials are often smooth. What kind of cardboard is best for soundproofing? Corrugated cardboard is effective at soundproofing because of its ability to dampen sound and slow sound waves. Though it does not absorb sound efficiently, cardboard does reduce the transfer of sound. As sound waves require open space to move, any obstructions function to slow their movement, limiting unwanted sounds. Thus, with each layer of corrugation the sound wave has to pass through, the more dampened the sound will be. How to soundproof an area using cardboard? To create a soundproof box for a microphone, lining all surfaces of an existing container with the appropriate cardboard is effective. However, if the area you desire soundproofed is an entire room rather than a smaller space, covering all available spaces may not only be expensive and impractical, it may not be possible. Let's look at what to do in these cases. The areas you need to worry about covering are those areas where sound is most likely to get in. Sound travels through any gaps or thinner surfaces like doors or windows. However, sound can also travel through walls and other surfaces. Are you tired of hearing unwanted noise in your home or office? Do you want to find an affordable and effective solution to soundproofing? Look no further than our latest blog post, Is Corrugated Cardboard Good for Soundproofing? Click now to learn more and discover how to transform your space into a peaceful oasis. Don't let noise disrupt your life any longer. Click and read today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.